Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. Um, this is my subject today. I shot it for a couple years ago. Models from Southern Cross. That's the one of the best model agency in Okinawa. Well, I want to try to make some different image, create image from this image and also I made this line drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used a filter called Find Edges. Let's get started. Okay. Now I'm going to turn, I mean, uh, change the blend mode. This line image to darken. And I'm going to turn this base image, tone down just uh, maybe 40% or so. Then I'm going to draw on this layer, move in between these two. I'm going to go from skin tone, light, choose the watercolor, wash flat first. From light side to dark side, it has more yellow in it. Well, I'm going to choose this for skin tone and you don't see much color. Can you see this? Very set. Okay. I'm going to blend into a uh, dark side shadow too. But now I'm going to draw one here. Now I'm going to dry layer. Then I'm going to go water to blend in. To light side. Again. Now I want to try eyes. Mm, I'm going to add the layer here for eyes. Okay, now and go with the basic watercolor. And then pretty dark. Pretty dark lines on here and uh, real sharp. Hundred percent dark before I put this dry layer in. Now you see some. I'm gonna add shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna go blow. I blow. Same one, but uh, okay. Eyes and lips. Dark side and real dark here. Then shadow. Then light pink.
see check real dark here. I'm gonna add the shadow later and the nose and then the lips. I only have this for face, skin tone, this for face, I mean uh, eyes and lips and stuff. Then this is base image. Now I go with uh, this skins. I'm going to move this layer face going up. Then face skin. I'm going to add some skin here. Around here. Pretty dark shadow here. Well, it's going to be kind of difficult. part makes the shape of the face so uh, I have to fix it up. Now dry first. So I'm going to change the brush wash flat, flat to make it this dark side. Um, I should put light side first, uh, then dark. Okay, light side, this has set some bluer and this is a little more yellow, brown. So, okay, light side on touch. Blue and the woods to uh from top. Change the brush, and then go a little dark, dry this layer, and then Now I go more darker 
and hard right here let's see dry then what it looks like Change brush, pre dock, dry. Okay, I'm gonna add some shadow here, more darker. Yeah, I do have some. Now I'm gonna go. Well, getting better, and uh, let's go for background. Now, well, beforehand, before going background, I gotta see this shadow here. I wonder if I make like underneath, I mean, the shadow on the chin, I mean, uh, under the chin, so show us. Uh, it should show more shadow, strong shadow image. So in that case, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna add this layer and uh, this is for shadow, more strong image to it, this. So, dark part of this shadow here. Yeah, it's gonna be real hard. Well, I am gonna try to watercolor wash flat to make it bigger. I am gonna go make some background and also I'm gonna make that uh, create empty mask on this to show the photograph base. Not this much, but some, no, no. Then also I have that, uh, this line image. I'm gonna take this one out. Well, I'll leave it now, here. 
No, um, what kind of background is nice to go with this? Not that dark, I don't think. Well, I may make some real dark background, maybe, to use this image to now add the layer for background. And uh, I'm gonna draw something. Use a brush, wash flat, and uh, okay. Not much water, no wonder. No wonder. No, lots of water to bring. Well, I'm gonna make, create empty mask on this. First I'm gonna duplicate layer and I just keep for this. Turn this one down and I'm gonna make, create empty mask on this. Then we invert mask. Now I'm gonna reveal on this. And also same time I'm gonna make, create empty mask here. And this one, I'm gonna just hide on this, like these block lines on. Okay, now choose the uh, just soft round opacity, uh, soft round opacity, where is that? That was uh, painting. Basic to soft round opacity. Oh, this is one soft round opacity. So just black, then this is the one. I'm gonna just hide this dark drawing type image, then just opacity half or so I'm not gonna take all out and just leave it maybe 50% or so I'm gonna hide everything right just leave it just touch Then same time I'm gonna draw, I mean, uh, reveal from this. I don't know how much is the best to show up. Yeah, delete mask now, and uh, I'm gonna create empty mask again, then invert mask. So forget about this now, but I just, Reveal from same time, maybe some of it. Also, the line of the shoulder. So, in that case, I don't worry about this dirty look, huh? So, uh, take it this smaller, then show the line. And also mask density, and I can find out. Because I don't have to take these all the way. This is easier. Since it doesn't have much lines. Some. Some more eyes looks more sharper. Then I can reveal on this this image to get like a eyebrow to be more softer. You see, 
but I guess use the brush otherwise it's kind of it's not natural so I go find some mixer brush instead of the soft brush type well Monet or since this is watercolor maybe I can go with the here with brush maybe well let's see it's like this let's review on that then hide here maybe that's more oops natural Now it's going to take a little while to uh, get some amount of the photo image reveal. Well, in this way I can make lots of variations of this image. Okay, now it's just like Mm, just like drawing it doesn't show well I don't know well that's it for today anyways and uh, I may make some uh, variations from this change the background color and everything like that well thank you for watching I really appreciate to uh, support me to watch my video you guys have a nice day and uh, see you next time bye now Ciao!